So here's what happened to me. I was trying to capture a new image on Windows 10 version 1709. That's the latest edition right now. I was trying to sysprep it before capturing and I received this error. Sysprep was not able to validate your Windows installation, review the log file at, and that address. So I went to that directory, read the log file, and in the log file there was a line in it that said that there was a program that was installed under only the user account, please uninstall the software, and then try sysprep again, something to that effect. So then I tried that, I uninstalled the program, and it was one of those bloatwares that come in the start menu that you see. And when I uninstalled it, I tried sysprepping again, got the same error, went to the log file again, and this time it was a different application. But it was another one of those bloatwares. And so I looked, I'm like, man, there's so many of these programs. I, 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 do I have to uninstall all these? And I think I tried it like three or four more times and I was like, all right, there's gotta be a better way. Somebody must have experienced this and written a, written a script in PowerShell. Sure enough, they did. So then I used their script. The script took like, it seemed like 15 to 20 minutes to run. And then once it ran, I then tried the sysprep again and it still gave me the error because there was still a few more that weren't included in the script and I just uninstalled those manually. Then once all that was done, I then was able to successfully sysprep and then capture the image. Now upon uh, redeploying that image, all of that software that I uninstalled came back and I have no idea how, but it did. I read that there's like an offline method you could try so that the software doesn't come back, but you know, probably with one Windows update, that'll all come back. Anyway, that's my story. If you have a better method than this one, and this one is finding that PowerShell script and running it. If you have a better way to make those bloatware programs permanently stay removed, and we're talking like Candy Crush Saga and some Disney stuff, uh, what? just leave it in the comments below. And if what I'm talking about here worked for you, also leave a comment so that other people that see this video know that this is a good method to try. And if it doesn't work, also leave that. Um, and also leave your tips on better ways to do this. Thank you for watching Tech Nuba. Tech Nuba.